There were so many fantastic, memorable moments in Yankee Stadium. It started off when Babe Ruth hit the first home run on opening day in 1923. And that's where it all began. It was the house that Ruth built. Championships were building. Records were being set. But then the unbelievable happened. Yankee Stadium was in pain. It was when Lou Gehrig made that farewell speech that touched every human heart. But then came along Yankee clipper Joe DiMaggio, who healed us with his 56-game hitting streak. That magnificent moment when Don Larson threw that last pitch to Yogi Berra to celebrate the perfect game in the World Series. The battle for 61 between Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. The lightning October by Reggie Jackson. The tears that fell on the grass of Yankee Stadium over the tragic loss of Captain Thurman Munson. The renewal of spirit and hope as the torch was passed to Captain Don Mattingly. The perfect games from David Wells and David Cohn. And most recently, Derek Jeter brought back the dynasty. But more importantly, this stadium healed our country after 9-11. When we enter this stadium, we hear the voice of God. It's when the legendary Bob Shepard announces, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Yankee Stadium. Every time people ask me, what's it like watching a Yankee game in Yankee Stadium? I always tell them, man, you'll never know until you enter this beautiful stadium. It's a feeling that cannot be described, but you'll know it when it hits you. With Monument Park, the tradition of Yankee old-timers game, legendary numbers, and the most loyal fans in Major League Baseball, this, my friends, is why Yankee Stadium will always be remembered in our hearts. And the tradition will continue.